Hello, it's Sarah, and I can't stop working on this now that I'm now that I'm on to something. So um, this is about part three or four on my little art doll that I'm doing. So I have a head, a crown, the wings. I made I just made this little piece because I felt like I needed to have a piece of clay that matched that. But I think I'm going to go with a big piece similar to this one that's going to come down or it may be a separate piece but something like that so what I've decided to do is see if this I'm gonna go with like about a three by three all right I think I I think I'm good I have to peel this off I got a good impression though so I'm gonna go with um, about a three by three chunk because I want it to fit in this space. This is the first time I've ever actually created the tiles based on, like usually I just make a bunch of tiles and then fit them wherever they fit. But this one I want to make it so that it's specific. Um, and huh, let me see. All right, let me measure here. Let me because I think it I think three by three no not maybe not three by three but three by maybe three by two I think a three by two would look very very cool so let's see what this is looking like here so three is right about there two oh so I'm gonna have to cut it See, I think I'm just going to go with this first. Let's just cut out this shape. I'm filming, babe. I'm filming, babe. So let's just cut this. And... But I want it to be three because I, I don't it doesn't have to be because I could put something down. Actually, I think I'm just gonna cut it out like this. I'm gonna grab another tile. I just like working. Uh oh. Babe, did I leave a tile in there? Yeah. All right, I'm going to come get it. Can you bring it to me? Thank you. Because then I won't have to turn my camera off. Thank you. You're welcome. Let everyone know what a great help I am. You are a great help, honey. Um, so this is... I love this so much. All right, so you know what we're going to do? Um, I think I'm going to, I'm going to make it. I'm just going to make this into a tile. I'm going to use mica powders. And I'm going to color in a few things. There's black there. I don't know why. So let's just go around and let's see what I have here. I'm going to do, uh, there's lots of hearts. So let's go in with, I don't really have a red, but I have like a, this is just a, the darkest pink that I have. I'll use that. Uh, I can't find my little brush that I was using. My desk just gets messier and messier as I go. And it should be oh, right here. I could just I could use this as a base and put like a big heart in the middle of it. I think that might be good. Or um, there's a cloud. There's flowers. I think those are the only hearts. 
there's a sun, and there are words. So let's go with this. I have this beautiful yellow color. Might as well, right? It doesn't have to all be pink. We're going to walk in. Okay, babe. Should I take her? Well, she went with Matt earlier, so you don't have to. All right. That's a sun. Oh, there's a butterfly right there. This is the stamp, and everyone raves or wants the stamp, and I think I got it at a craft store, and it was during probably October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and that's all I know. I never saw it again. Um, what other color for a... I could make a yellow... Um, well, now that I put it away, but a yellow tulip over here because just to bring the yellow in. Can you tell it's a tulip? I don't know. It, this is kind of boring, I guess, but instead of using paint, all right, I'm just using makeup powders for this whole project. That's not to say I, I'll never, I mean, I won't, couldn't possibly use paint. But I decided I like the, damn it, sorry, I don't mean to cuss, the look of it, but something, it's like a flake of some type, and my G. All right, so I have a cloud, a butterfly, flowers, but anyway, yeah, this is the stamp. Um, here's white. I'm going to use some white for this cloud. There's rain coming down, watering the flower. Um, there's a little bit of green, so I think I'm going to get the green because it's like, ooh, look at this color. What is this called? Green purple. This is regular, like, oh, that's green yellow. Um, Here's regular green, right? Nothing's regular. Spring green. But there are lots of little um, leafy parts. <clears throat> so this is fun for me. And what I've, I guess I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've been filming a lot today, so I'm kind of all over the place. But when I've seen, and I, I don't have any of the packaging for this, these mica powders, um, but Tim Holtz or anyone who's using them on their videos generally spritzes a little bit of water and that is supposed to be how you um, get them to cure or adhere to the project so before I bake this I'm gonna do that this time oops I think this is this looks like a leaf I don't know all right so, that's a butterfly. And I'm just going to take at the end, I'm going to go around everything and with gold. So I'm kind of sticking this in the, um, you know what, I could just go through and I get so distracted, but I guess purple, purple would be a good color to make a flower, right? While we're at it, oh, this is like a blue. I don't know. What color is this? True blue. Let's make a blue flower. I don't know. It looks purpley. It's gorge. And then there's this one, this one, and the butterfly and this one. <clears throat> so let's see what other, ooh, there's like an orangey. This is a pretty color. Salmon pink. Butterfly. 
And I think we're just about done. Butterflies are usually yellow, right? Um, solar gold. So many. Woof. That is bright. And that's the little butterfly. And now I'm going to hope for the best and hope that I can just take my finger and gently add just a basic gold. This one. I think I'm going to use this one. Perfect gold, it's called. And just hit it on the tops. Ooh. Maybe right by the words, like that says hope. Survive, strength, determination, I have generally stamped this with ink in the past and I love how it comes out but this is looking really cool too. Most of the words are popping. Some of them won't depending on how they're printed. Um, but the courage, faith, hope showed up. This hope should definitely show up. I'm trying not to go over the colored places that I did already. Although usually they stay pretty. Look, here's love. See, I didn't get the green. Support. I'm just going over the whole thing. Oops. Now, just because I did that, that's not how it's going to stay though. What I want to do is use this as a centerpiece and maybe put this key in the center of it, but on another piece of clay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move all this, make sure it's, oops, make sure they're closed just moving sorry I know I'm zoomed in it's my life story I'm always zoomed in let me zoom back out for a sec all right so this is my thought anyway I want to bring let's see it's not baked yet so I got to pick it up off the tile and I'm going to just bring my substrate into the pick, put it here. See, it's a little bit smaller than three inches, which that was okay with me. It's really blending into the background a lot, too. It's okay. This I love. I love that. I put a bunch of um, Swarovski crystals in it. I didn't do that on camera, but it's no biggie. Um, but then I could put other things, fillers down the center. Um, is this light? No, this is the medium. Uh, I think, ugh, it's sticking to me, sorry. Because I could use, um, just some silver clay, because see this? I want to, maybe I'll make two strips of silver to fill that in with, okay? But then, I think I'm going to go with one more, and then some, um, some kind of banners like what color I think I'm gonna do them in the light pink um, along the bottom and oops uh, I actually might use Instead of doing like this, I could do a scallop. I don't know what it is. I'm just trying to use this little, whichever one right here, this shape. But it might not, it might not end up. Now 
I really love this, but I don't know if I like it because I kind of do want it to be fill that whole space, but I could just make little, I think I will. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. <clears throat> Some silver pieces. I think I am going to make silver pieces. This I don't like. I just don't. Um, and I don't even need the little spikies to come down, but I was thinking... I, I want to have, um, I think I'm just going to get the words, my word stamp, this one. And this is Sculpey 3, so it's very soft, see? All right, good enough. I, I'm just, this is just an example. I'm just seeing if I, if I like it. And... Straight across there, and then with my exacto knife, I don't think that's my phone. I hear a bzzz. Nope. All right, so let's see how big three inches is. Because I want it to be, yeah, three inches. That's not very big. Mmm. It's not big at all. I'm going to go with this as my measurement. I may not keep this one, but I just want to see if, I, if I'm, what I'm thinking is going to work. And the reason I'm using this clay is because it's the same color I used for the crown. And I'm going to make little, um, so, let's make a little mark. I don't know where my stuff is. It rolls away. Um, this looks like a bubble. Uh, I don't know if I, about putting four. If something makes me want to do odd numbers, an odd number. So that's why I'm kind of debating. I guess just try it, right? I could do five. Five would be too many. I'm going to do three. So it's going to be wide. And I, I knew I could measure, right? Oop, jeebus. Jeebs. So that's not quite two. So it's just a thing over. I'm pretty good at eyeballing. So I'm going to take and just go straight to this corner. And straight to this corner. And then to the center. Somehow I never get it straight. It always looks wonky to me. It looks decent. It looks decent. And just maybe put like gems across the top. Um, really keep it simple. I kind of like that idea, like using some more of these gems just across the top. I have like big, hold on, where are they? These guys. I have big ones. Oops. There's little holes in these bags I forgot about. But I have, I could do more of this, the little seed bead things. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, hold on. These could go like in between. You know, I have, let's say, blue, green, purple, red. I'm pretty sure I have pink. These are big. They're super big. But let's say, 
I think there's also white. But I think I want to do pink. Or should I just do white? I think I'm going to do white. Because I have so much pink. I might have already cut holes. I did. So let's just go with one, two, three. So like, I, I was thinking I could go and put one of these in between each one. Definitely in the center. I'm liking it. Oopsie. Slippery little suckers. And one more. I got these at Hobby Lobby. I believe they're glass because you really when you're working with clay it's good to, it's nice to have um, glass because you can just put them right in the oven and you don't have to worry about it so I like that and then I will put one of these in between each one which doesn't really need it but what the heck um, I use a toothpick which I, of course I can't find so I have another one and just uh, pick it up. See, I didn't press that in yet, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna see. I like it. I think I'm gonna do it. They're so small, but it would tie in with the. Um, see, I did it around her head, so it would tie in. I could use smaller ones of them too. I think I like this. I think it's what I need to do. It's what I need to do. And I don't like the way... Oh, I think I hear trick-or-treaters. Matt, I think I hear some. Okay. I think I hear a child, huh? I hear children. I know I heard a child. Alright, I'll be right back. Sorry, that was our crew, my little crew that I love, my little kids across the street. Um, yes, I'm liking this. This is so exciting when it comes together. Um, but yeah, see this I left basically pretty plain. So I'm going to leave this pretty plain. And just add this bit of bling. And I like it. So I'm going to take, I'm going to try and be gentle with an eraser for a pencil. And I think this is centered pretty pretty good. I'm not going to get all caught up in it. Now, this is Sculpey 3, so I, I really don't need to be pushing too hard. Because it is soft clay, and I am distorting the shape. So that little edge there will get a little wonky. This one did. You can kind of see the bumps. It's like, whoop. But it'll work. It will work. And I could have been putting um, a little bit of adhesive, liquid glue or liquid clay in there or something. But I'm just going to work the way I usually do. And if they pop off, I'll glue them later. So I just want to stick that in gently. These should have these shouldn't have a problem staying put. Um, and it just makes me want to put more. Like I could have put some of these along here too. See the little dots? But that's it. I'm not going to go crazy. I mean I could have put like three. I think I will. I think I'm getting excited. And I'm going to, I'm just biting off the end of the toothpick. Oh, now it won't work. <laughs> so I don't need to bite off that big of a, but I'm making a mark in the clay, so I just want to cut off the pointy point, and then I'll be able to still use it, but I won't make a mark in the clay. See, I just get carried away. I'm enjoying this so much. I haven't enjoyed a project like this for so long. Oops. Bouncy little stinkers and I need one more one more bead Ugh, I don't think one is just loose on my desk somewhere oh I need one two three more 
but I love this color so I have to find a place where I can put this hope because I really like that I love that K for some reason it has to go on and without hope where are we right gotta have hope whoopsie get over here little bead got away from me oh okay maybe I'll put one on the end why not <clears throat> now I need one more all right then I'm just gonna rub <clears throat> What color I mean I could just put the gold because I really want it to kind of tie in with the other pieces so that's what I will do I love it though I'm so excited sometimes I mean you don't have to get crazy but I sometimes think I have to be so elaborate oh boy can't find my base here it is my basic gold perfect gold it's called by perfect pearls just gently rub some on here and you can still see the pink I love it so much I'm so excited I could have put this on before I put all the bling on there, but this is like, um, it's very silky, this um, mica powder. See, it's not going in there, so I'll just use my brush and get it in there. But the reason was, it's not as sticky as the, it makes the clay not sticky. So that's why I kind of opted to do it not at the time, so if that makes any sense. Yay, OMG, so cool. Just keep it simple, right? And then I have been, like if you look at her, I went around things, I've shaded around things with um, the darker, like it's like, it's called antique copper, I think, to give it like a dimensional shaded look. And I didn't do it on here. Do they look similar? I'm excited. OMG. All right. So let me see how much bigger that is. See, then if I put that there, I might not use this whole thing. I don't know. This is going to go here. And then I'm going to put two silvers. I have to use this silver clay to go down the center. So I have to bake this. And I have to bake that, but do I want to jazz this up a little bit? Does it need jazzing? I wish I made room for it. Put that right in the middle. All right, there we go. Um, 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 so excited. Because I think I am going to let that hang off the edge at the bottom. And I love it. Just giving that a little push because I have to figure out how I'm going to mount this key. So maybe if there's silver on the sides, I might need to just put this on this really light. Oh, that's what color that is too. I haven't used it. Oh, I haven't used this, this color in a while. I don't know if it's going to look right, but we're going to try it. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm just so excited now. This is where it's really getting fun. Do I need texture? Or am I just going to lock it in there? Texture is cool though. Everything else has texture except for this one. This doesn't have texture. Let's just do it without texture first. Push it in. Oh my gosh. And um. 
Yeah, I don't think we get a lot of trick or treaters. Okay, so I'm just going to let the key. Oops, it's crooked. Be the star of the show, but let's just see how that looks. And I think it's going to be great. It's a little crooked. Didn't you just open one of those? No, uh, when I came down, whatever, 10 minutes ago, I shook it up. Oh. I didn't open it. Yeah, because well, yeah, you're making a lot of noise. <laughs> All right, so this is the key. Now let's see if it looks good. Ah, uh, I don't know. I gotta look at it in the camera. Oh man, I don't know. I think it needs to be um maybe silver. I don't know. I think I'm going to use a piece of silver. I mean, what the heck? It doesn't hurt to try a couple different colors. But this is the process, you guys. This is what happens when you're, um, what is this called? Like, he talks to himself. Oh, boy. I don't think this one worked, though. I don't think that's going to be. I like that. That could be good. So let's put that in there. I'm just cutting it really close to the key because the key is the center stage. I don't want the clay, but that being said, I love this. This is actually not silver. This is called white gold sparkle or something like that. It is called white gold glitter. But it's so sparkly. And again, it's um, a Primo uh, accents color. And I like this in silver. I have to bake this OMG I'm so happy I think it's gonna be good I don't know I don't know about the key what other ideas did I have I was thinking of just a big one of these these are buttons actually I think this would look so pretty in the middle of that. Let's take a piece of that silver. Oh geez. These are all baked. That one's not so I can't move that. Let me take a piece of that silver and um, I don't know where the rest of it is. Make a piece for that hope. Matt I hear people. He said he would open the door or I'm sorry give out the candy. I like this. I don't think I don't think it stands out as nice on that. Is that you, Joe? No. Oh, you were out there. Yeah. I don't know, guys. This is hard. So many decisions. 
But what I like about, oops, it came apart. And that's just because I took the, um, I cut the, uh, what's that called? He talks to himself. Oh my God, it's so weird. I mean, I talk to myself too, but he's been going crazy today. Oh boy. Um, so hope. I'm keeping it even like that. Hopefully. See? And then I need to turn it. That's why I like working on a smaller tile. Oops. There we go. Um, I could kind of make some type of edge or something like a, let's put it on here. It's like auditioning. I'm auditioning these pieces. I think this is going to be the one. I love the key, so I'll have to figure out where I can put that. What am I looking for? My blade. Yes, Matthew. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. oh my God. What is wrong with him? I like that, but I, it's not straight. So I'll have to, mm, I have to glue this for sure because the ribbon's falling off. And it won't look right unless it's centered, so I have to have it like really centered on there. And I could put a ball chain around it, something um, decorative like that. I just have to find it. I, I put all my... Um, Here I have a little piece of ball chain. My decorative chain in a different drawer somewhere and I can't remember where I put it. I love it, but I think I would use bling chain. I think I'm gonna put like bling chain or something. I can't decide. So I'm thinking this is what, I'm gonna definitely bake that. I'm thinking this is what I'm gonna use for the body. So let me try and lay this out I can't I can't because this has to be baked um, all right I'll be back all right so I decided I'm gonna go with the the hope button I'm gonna glue it on it's plastic I can't bake it but I centered that as best I could I put a few beads in little spots here and there on the bottom one and I found this gold ball chain, so I'm kind of cutting it into pieces that will fit around the, um, the silver part. And I'm going to lay it in there. I'm just um, seeing if I really like it. I think I'm going to. And here's the thing. I decided I don't have to love it. Um, I'll make something else if I don't love it, but I kind of think I'm loving it. I kind of like it. Um, I think it's good. This isn't centered right, so I think I need to cut a little bit off the top there. I'm getting a little too specific. But that's what I do. Like this just doesn't, and I can't see without my head getting in the way. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and bake this. I'm debating if I'm going to push this into the clay or if I'm just going to, I think I'm going to put a strip of 
And again, this is not um, bacon bond. This is Sculpey translucent liquid Sculpey. So, and I'm not baking it with the this. I'll just glue that with um, what are they called? Glossy accents. So let me just put a bead. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it under here too. Just because I don't know why. Oops. I think this is more for if I wanted to color clay or something. So anywho. Just gonna center it as best I can. I like that. Then I'm gonna put a little bead, oops, just a little bead. See, I have to move this. And if this comes off, I will um, glue it, but I'm gonna use a toothpick right now. kind of pushing it into the clay and I want it to be straight but listen it's all handmade right so you can't expect perfection I'm just doing my best Just gonna push it down kind of by that little middle um, I think my son is hepped up on caffeine today I don't know I don't know but look, I like that. It's very pretty. And I like that I'm using dimensional metal. It is a mixed media um, tile. So I am going to do it one more time. Then I'm going to bake it and I'm going to come back and we're going to lay it out on the board so that you can see the direction we're headed in. Um, I think I'm going to fill in most of the board. I'd like to cover all the wood, but a lot of these that Lori does, she does not do that. You can leave some of the gold board showing, but my preference would be to have, so I'm going to bake that and like I said, I might not use it, but I just might. And I might, before I bake this, is, oops, kind of squish that. Add a little darkness to this. I don't know why, guys. I just can't leave things alone. That's basically, so I might add a little darkness to that. All right, and then, don't forget, give it a spritz of water. Psh just a little. All right, so I'll be back and I'll lay it out for you. Okay, these are still warm, but I love this one. All right, so here's how I'm starting to see things. This one is going to go here, something like that, and then I think I'm going to put something down there, <laughs> some type of, excuse me, and then this, I don't love it. I like the colors. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let me put it on the board. These are going to go, hmm, like this. I don't know, I think this needs to go up more. It's already warping a little. I won't know until I stick it down, but it is kind of, it has to be known because of this measurement here. Okay. I like it. So I still have plenty of room here. So this has to be even with that. I think that's how it's going to go. And I'll put um, something there, there, and then I really don't know where I'm going next. It's a mystery. I still love the keys. I think they're super cool, but because this one goes across, I believe could go there on a tile but I like it it's coming along I definitely have to put some silver here so they would just basically be two strips of silver but I like this a lot I like how this turned out this is warpy I'm gonna break it oh I kinda did I didn't break it but I this isn't glued Oh, speaking of gluing, I have to, um, I mean, this could go down here, and something else could go here. So I'll have to play around, but this is definitely getting glued into place here. And where's the other? Uh, can't find it. Here. So this is getting glued into place. I like that. And then I'll put stickles on it. This is um, staying in place just fine. Um, Alright. I don't know. Maybe like three different things in here. Uh... And what else? I could just find not not a key, but like maybe hearts or something. So I'll look around. I'll figure it out. I really liked this piece too. So then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do here. And I think it's just going to be like Again, if maybe if I do silver on these sides, I could put silver down there. So I still have a lot to figure out, but it's coming along. Um, I think I'll glue this for you guys and show you how I would do that. I think this turned out super pretty, actually. I really like it. The, the bling, um, the bead... The beading around it is so cute. So I'm going to use um, glossy accents. And I don't know if it's going to come out because I haven't... Nope, I haven't used it in a while. And I don't know where my pins are. I used to have... Oh, I know where a pin is. I'm just going to use a stick pin. Maya made this one. Hopefully... 
Ah, very good. Glossy Accents holds really well. I've never had an issue with when I glue it onto polymer clay using this. It's very trusty, trustworthy. Oh boy. Adhesive. And I made the impression already, so I just push it in there. And do the same thing with this. stickiness on my finger but I will leave that overnight and I think I'm going to use stickles my desk is so full of stuff it's just annoying I like stardust let's try some stardust I could use pink but I think I'm just going to go clear I'm going to get a Q-tip. It just seemed like there was some type of um, discoloration on it. My finger has glue on it, so that's why. I could wait to do this till it's dry and but look at the difference it makes. When you add stickles. It's just a glitter glue. I love it. It's moving. Yeah, I should have waited. So pretty. And this, these beads are staying put, so I'm super thrilled about that. I did go back, and you can notice I put some of the darker copper, the antique copper, around the edges, but I did it on the... Um, around the the edges of the crown as well um, and I think I did it around the edges of this see like you can see it on the frame so I really am having a hard time stopping it's eight o'clock and I've been at this all day so I think I am gonna call it a day I have a busy day tomorrow, so I might not be able to get in here. Um, you know what you should do when you just squeeze the air and clear the nib? Sometimes that helps um, so it doesn't stop it up. But I think it's going to be cute. I'm pretty excited. I'm not sure what I'm going to do down here. But, we shall see. There's a lot I could go with. Right? I kind of want these up here. Listen, I don't know what I'm doing. Nah, because these are just this, this, and this are the same color. So I was kind of breaking it up. And this and this is the same color. This is the uh, third color of clay. I haven't used. Let me just, I'm just fooling around. I'm going to just see what I have in here that. Because look, I saw, I thought of this too. Um. I could just make bling chain come down there. I could do 
black and white. Oh, here's a silver. I call it silver, but it's actually, what did I say, white gold. Oh, uh, look, I have this. And I, so I have another one of them. I have these. These are already. But I'm looking for like another focal piece, like two of them. I could even go wider. I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'll have to think of something. I think words could be super cute. I'm just looking to see if I have another silver, big silver one. I only have this. And this one. I think silver is where I'm going to go with it. It's another determination. I could use them. Mm. Just like flowers. So these are all what I'm thinking about as to use as filler. I have... So I could use... Determination. I don't like it though. I think silver or gold, definitely. I might have to make like four of these for the corners. I think I'm going to make similar pieces um, that I did for this piece. See, here's how I did the banners on this one and this one. And I put a medallion in the middle, but I love these. I think I could do something similar to this for the corners. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm thinning so far. All right, you guys. I might I might have to put a smaller um, crown too, like just to show you. I have this um, purple one because I think I have a pink crown. Where'd it go now? It's right here. Um, I have, I'm pretty sure, here it is. I have a pink one of these. And I kind of like that better, the size of it. I just think this is too big. But I would mount it on the same color clay and put that there. I think I just like the shape of that better. I think this one is just, I'm not sure. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much. It's been a long day. It's hard to walk away, but I, I, I'm, I'm happy with what I've done so far. And thanks for watching.